Lots of Apple investors got what they wanted Monday. The company announced a dividend and stock buyback to start in July of this year. Fortune reports Apple will pay out a $2.65 per share quarterly dividend. It will initiate a $10 billion stock buyback over the next four years. All told, the moves will send roughly $40 billion back to shareholders. It's a return to old form for Apple, which last paid a dividend back in 1995 before Steve Jobs came back. And All Things Digital says Tim Cook's Apple is not Steve Jobs' Apple. So Apple under Cook is something of a different animal than it was under Jobs. And as much as Cook insists that he is keen on preserving Apple's culture, he's not unwilling to put his own mark on it. GigaOM says Cook has pulled off a valuable balancing act. Jobs was known for his extremes, but Cook and his CFO Peter Oppenheimer found a middle road, a way to satisfy Wall Street's criticism of its too large cash hoard, but in a manner that allows the company to stay flexible. An investment advisory firm co-founder tells Bloomberg Apple's dividends should help future-proof its stock, making old and new investors happy. Yeah, I think it's a good sign for a big capitalization technology stock. The present value of a, of a stock is the, the present value of its long-term stream of, of dividends. And Barron's associate editor Michael Santoli tells the Wall Street Journal the stock buyback keeps Apple from sitting on too much cash. The problem is when it gets that big, uh, it really, to me, is, uh, is, is, is bigger than any productive use could, could really uh, offer you and, uh, and basically becomes a little bit more of a source right. of mischief potentially down the road. The news is great if you own Apple stock, says Engadget, but where's the next big thing? It was just a few days ago that Mr. Cook ended his new iPad keynote with a promise that 2012 would be chock full of unbelievable things from his company. But it sounds like the only folks celebrating this particular announcement are those with a hand in the stockpile. Cook reiterated Monday there is plenty in the pipeline, but it's not the sort of thing he's going to debut over conference call. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.